You got lost? Aww. It, it's okay. You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm friendly. I promise. What am I? I am... a werewolf. Hmm? Hmm? No. <laughs> I am... Um... I'm not like those scary movies. <laughs> I mean, I can turn into a wolf, but it's nothing really that scary, I don't I don't think. <laughs> this is my most favorite farm actually. Helps me to blend in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, talk to me. What happened to you? Oh, I see. Oh, you poor thing. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you. Alright? You don't have to worry about a single thing, my dear. I promise. I'll be here to protect you. Alright? So just try to relax, okay? Just relax. So, what brings you out here? You're kind of far from where you be coming from, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Can I... Is it okay if I sit with you then? Okay. Shh. It's all right. I'm here to protect you. You don't have to worry about a single thing, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I promise. You're perfectly safe here. <laughs> Yeah. I just like going for really long walks at night. It makes me feel happy. Don't worry. I'm here to help you, alright? Let me help you. I want to make you feel safe and comfy. I could take you back to my place if you like. <laughs> Would you like that? Mm. Good. Technically, <laughs> I guess this is my home. This place is so beautiful, wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. Come rest your head on my lap. It's comfy. And I have my long, fluffy tail that you can use as a blanket. Here. Hmm. 
there you go. How does that feel? <laughs> I'm gonna do everything I can to help you feel relaxed, okay? You don't have to be afraid anymore. But you do need to get some rest. Mm -hmm. And don't worry. Once you get some rest, I'll help you find your way back. Alright? Although I do hope you will come visit me from time to time. <laughs> I don't really get too many humans around here. Oh no. I guess it's more of an enchanting forest. It's more of a... a place for mystical beings, such as myself. No, I haven't really met too many other wolf girls. I'm kind of the first of my kind, I think. I was actually created in a lab, if you can believe it. And then my mother rescued me. She took me far away from that awful place. And I've been with her ever since. But would you like to know a secret? She's a witch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so naturally, I'm also a witch. I'm a magical wolf girl. No, let's... Uh, I'm not think I'm at the little Harry Potter level just yet, but I think I do all right. I'm a bit clumsy. Mm. But I try my best, so, you know, it's always good to try your best. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I give you nice little head strokes. That make you feel comfy. I used to always love it when my mother would stroke her fingers through my long black hair. It was my favorite thing and it always helped me to fall asleep. Don't worry. <laughs> You're safe with me. This forest is pretty safe, actually. But you probably would have been bombarded with a lot of different creatures who are just curious about you. And I'm sure that would have been pretty terrifying for you. I've been around humans. I go into towns and stuff. Usually I hide my wolf ears in my tail though. <laughs> but, you know, it's... Humans are pretty nice. For the most part, they're really judgy though. But you seem really nice. You seem like the kind of person who would keep on giving. Someone who cares a lot about others, and you have your own set of passions, do you? <laughs> How do I know all that? Well, I can read your aura. Everybody has an aura, silly. <laughs> it's like a glow of different colors and shades. That surrounds your entire body. But nobody can see it. But it's there, always. It lets me know if someone has bad intentions or not. <laughs> How do I know these things? It's because of my enchanted glasses that I'm wearing. <laughs> 
I guess it would be kind of silly for a wolf to be wearing glasses, right? <laughs> My mother wears glasses, and I used to steal them when I was just a pup. So she decided to make my own and enchant them, meaning I can see what others cannot, one of them being auras. I can also see spirits, and I can see fairies. All fairies are really hard to see, even for a lot of other creatures and, um, and animals, I can't really see fairies. But if you're lucky, and you're surrounded by this beautiful, powerful, magical energy, you might be able to see them through smoke, if you're using incense or a candle. Or you might see them out of the corner of your eye. They're really sneaky little things. <laughs> but with my glasses, I can see them anytime I want. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't mind you using my glasses if you wanted to see fairies or spirits, but problem is, only I have the power to use my own glasses. So for you, it would just look like cosplay glasses with a clear lens. Yep, my mother put a, I wouldn't really say a protection spell, but pretty much a spell on it where only I had the power to use it. So that way if I were to ever lose my glasses, the worst that can happen is someone throws them away. Can you imagine the power people would have if they had something like this? Humans can be very power hungry. Why am I telling you this? Well, I told you already. I can see your aura. And I have to say, your aura is so magnificent. Such a beautiful color. Although there is some darker blues here and there, which kind of indicates to me that you've been struggling a lot emotionally. Is this true? Have you been feeling sad lately? Oh, I had a feeling. You want to talk about it? It's okay if you don't want to. Sometimes talking it out helps people. And for others, it doesn't do anything for them. It's all up to you. Whatever you're comfortable with. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, wow. That does sound stressful. Mm. Well, how about I make you a deal? I'll help you find your way back home tomorrow. And whenever you start to get stressed, and you feel like life is just too much to handle, and everything gets overwhelming and hard, I will give you a little spell to help you find your way back here, to my home. That way, I can kind of help you to relax. I mean, I could always come to you as well. <laughs> we'll stay connected. In case you don't feel like traveling. Although this place is really magical and beautiful. So I can completely understand why you would want to come back here. Aww. <laughs> You're sweet. Are you enjoying my tail? <laughs> I told you it was really soft and comfy. Wolves take pride in their tails, and I'm no different. I like to keep my tail perfectly clean and brushed and fluffy, soft and beautiful. <laughs> yes, the fluffy fluffs. Hmm. 
I mean, I used to be super sensitive when someone would touch my tail. But luckily, it hasn't been so bad anymore. Probably because I have a lot of people and creatures that touch it all the time, so I guess I kind of got used to it after a while. Now, why don't I help you to fall asleep? Does that sound good? Tomorrow, you'll be home. And you'll have all the information you need. In case you ever want to come back for more relaxation time with me. Oh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a dit sometimes. <laughs> I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name is Lyra. What's yours? Wow, that is such a good name. I think it has to be my favorite. <laughs> Alright, sweetie. Close your eyes. Close them tight. Good. I want you to think of a boat on a nice quiet little river. The sun is shining, making the water sparkle. There's a little box inside this boat. I want you to open it. Mm-hmm, it's empty. Now I want you to put all of your negative thoughts into this box. Everything. Everything that stresses you out. Or doesn't serve you. Anything that doesn't make you happy. I want you to put it all in this box. And close it tight. Let me know when you've done that. Yeah? So now, we are going to push the boat. Push, push. Good job. <laughs> and now, we are watching the boat slowly drift away with the box inside of it that has all of our negative emotions and dark thoughts in. And it's drifting down the stream going farther and farther away. Don't even remember what you were so stressed about, do you? Because those dark thoughts are gone. See? They're still going down the stream. Instead, we will replace those dark thoughts with happy thoughts. Positivity. Now lay in the grass. This is a type that doesn't make you itchy. <laughs> Instead, it feels so soft and warm and comfortable. You can feel the sun beaming on you. As if to say, Good job! You did good today. You deserve to be happy. Let me shine my light on you and get rid of that darkness inside. And slowly but surely, exactly what happens. You can feel the darkness leaving your body. You can feel all the pain and suffering slowly leave and being replaced with the warm and magnificent sunlight. Your thoughts start to get healthier. Happy thoughts. You start to think of all the things that you love and that have been passionate about. Even some passionate, passionate things that you've forgotten about. It's all coming back to you. <laughs> Is it working? Keep your eyes closed. You can feel the warmth of the sun on your cheeks, on your whole body. Not too hot. 
Not to the point where it's uncomfortable, but just enough to make you feel safe, secured, and comfy. Just enough warmth to make you feel loved and special. Because that's exactly what you are. You are special, and you are loved. You always have been. You just kind of forgotten about it. No. You're slowly gonna drift off into sleep. When you wake up, you will feel refreshed and new. And you will take on a brand new day with a clear mind and a healthy spirit. And then you can shine some of your own light onto others like you used to. Because the world is pretty dark as it is, we need to help bring some sunlight back into their lives. And together, we can accomplish that easily. so cute. Sweet dreams, my dear. I'm so happy that I've met you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave your side. I'll stay right here next to you and cuddle. Yeah, my word. I promise. Hmm.